placed the sweet potato in a cup of water and it grew roots and the slips grew within about two weeks. So on February 8th, I went ahead and removed some of the slips and put them inside of the cup with the water and the sweet potato still in it because the sweet potato will continue to produce more slips. Make sure that the sweet potato stems are completely submerged in the water so that you can ensure um, good root growth. And then a few days later, here we have some good developed roots. Sweet potato roots are vigorous, so I am using these five inch deep pots to plant them in. And I'm just using a small dibber to create some holes so that I can make sure I plant them good and deep. After you stick them in the soil, just kind of pat the soil down to um, make sure that the stems are very sturdy so they don't fall over. By February 26th, they put on a little bit of growth and I left them alone to continue to grow. So today is sweet potato planting day and I'm going to transplant four of them into this large container that I have over here and let's just go ahead and get started. So this is the container that I'm going to be using. I've had this, I have two of them. I've had them for about two, maybe three years. Um, they've been holding up pretty well even though they're kind of cheap. <laughs> but um yeah so I already put some marigolds in here and I'm gonna go ahead and transplant four of my sweet potato plants in here and then I'm also gonna plant some beans in there eventually so let's go ahead and get those transplanted it's very noisy right now because I think I've mentioned it before our backyard faces like a really busy road and everybody is getting off of work so everybody is just driving up and down the street so excuse the noise but anyway so I started these um, I don't even remember when I started these but wow look at that it was basically getting root bound so what I'm gonna do is just break these up just a little bit but not too much make a nice big hole and get that in there okay that's good this one I'm gonna put in the middle but I'm gonna move it for now I'll put this one over there look at that and this is um a Japanese variety the flesh is almost white and they are really good they're really really sweet you really don't need anything on them um, it tastes really good with like salt and pepper but that's really all you should want to put on them because they are really really good as they are so let's get this one over here that one in there deeper okay and then the last one is gonna go in the middle let's make some space they did have 
some trauma because we had a really um a really crazy storm see i can see some there already developing um we had a crazy storm that kind of shook up the greenhouse and they were on a shelf that was kind of touching one of the walls of the greenhouse and the entire thing that they were in fell and they were all over the floor on the greenhouse they got kind of beat up and then and they ended up getting spider mites so as you saw in the little clip earlier the one little ladybug was having a feast on all the spider mites so i let nature do its thing and i didn't try to help it out by getting rid of the spider mites so i let the little, little ladybug eat all right so that is it so that's one two three and four in the middle surrounded by a few marigold plants and then i'm gonna put some beans around the little circle there and we wait until harvest day so stick around and i'll make another video in the very near future with a good um sweet potato harvest i hope let's not hope let's already put that in the world and say that this is going to be a good sweet potato harvest all right guys thanks for watching see you in the next video